I love happy endings and romance stories. But I've also observed strained marriages and unions that seem more like heavy yokes than loving bonds. I would love to settle down, have a loving husband and adorable kids. I wish my mother would understand this and just let me be until the right person and the right time comes. I don't want to be a desperate bride and a desperate housewife. I want a companion, a friend, not a sparring mate. I'm not asking for Mr. Perfect. None of us is perfect. All I want is to marry my friend, not someone who will claim to love me but physically and mentally abuse me. So let's see if this day tonight will bring me close to that dream. your mate is married with at least three kids look at you still single living under my roof doing what you like it must be you Kore Debelo is talking to when he said she you won't discover Mongo Park mommy we've been over this topic for quite some time now and you keep saying all my friends are married do you know how many of my friends are married but frustrated? Married and frustrated. Why wouldn't they be? When they are all married for all the wrong reasons. Look at you. At your age. Still single. And living at home. <laughs> what about that young man that comes here in the red car? Comes here in the red car? <laughs> Mommy. Mm. What am I supposed to say? I do not want to be accused of influencing your choice. If not, I would have spoken since. Why does he not enter the house whenever he comes in? Is our city room not good enough for him? Something like that, mommy. He once told me that if we are to get married, he's going to get a venue for our introduction or mommy more. As his friends and relations, they cannot come over to this side of the town. Not only is the road bad, mommy, but he doesn't want the street oceans to smear their cars with their dirty hands. God forbid, mommy. Any home that would be too good that my mother is not welcome to stay in is not too good for me. Do you know what he said to me the last time he came? Mm. <laughs> mommy, he said he does not even know why it's taking me so long to consider his proposal. That so many ladies are dying to have him talk to them. So maybe we should help the ladies. Or oh, are you in love with his royal rudeness and pride? <laughs> no, mommy. If someone thinks he's too good for me, then I would rather look for someone that is not too good for me, but good enough for me. It's not F13. What makes him think he's too good for you? He's inherited wealth, money he did not work for. Can money buy happiness? <laughs> don't go over there, oh, mommy. Ah, don't say that to people of my generation. To them, money can buy happiness. In that case, go and marry him for his money and have your family looked down upon by him. He will treat you like a merchandise, but 
acquired and been improved upon. But wait, I have a better candidate. What about Chief Oluwola Yemo? Imagine if you married Chief Oluwola Yemo. Yes, 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 Ha! My head forbids it. Ah. Well, he's rich, but he's old, and his harem is full of quarrelsome wives. Although he promised to get an apartment for me, but I don't want to die of loneliness, mommy. Or have one rabid wife come over and rain curses on me. That's a tough one. I don't want to go into an already troubled water. Many wives, many children, and obviously lack of harmony in a home like that with no respect. You are right, mommy. You know love without respect is risky. And everyone deserves some measures of respect, no matter the circumstances they are. Speaking of respect, what about that young man, Olawali? We haven't seen him here in a while. Or did you send him away? Mommy, do your eyes ever miss anything? I didn't invite Olawali into this house in the first place. I could not have sent him away. And I wasn't forthcoming where he was concerned after I heard the story. He has a story. That good looking young man who would always prostrate fully as if he did not go to school has a story. Mommy, even the devil will not go to church with horns in his head. Forget the fact that he prostrate too. How does the saying go? Like, Oyodu Bule, Inu Enoru. Mommy. If you see Olawali when he's angry, you will know that one can prostrate more than a gamma lizard and still be wicked. See, a friend of a friend who stays in the same compound with Olawali told us how he beat his former girlfriend up and stripped her naked in the middle of the night, mommy. It was the neighbor that gave her a rapper. This is where you young people of nowadays miss it. What was she doing in his house in the middle of the night? Naked too. Did he already take Yam to her family? Mommy, if it was wrong for her to be in his house at odd hours and naked, by your judgment, are you saying it was right for him to beat and strip her naked? What could she have done? How can someone be so quick to prostrate and quick to assault at the same time? Mommy, you keep saying all my friends are married. Would you not be happier to see me alive and single than married and mutilated? My God forbids it. It is not your portion. Not all married people are frustrated though. There are still some young men out there. And they are a good child too. Mommy, that's the problem. It seems the good women end up in bad marriages. I don't understand and I can't explain it. But it just so happened. Do you remember the case of the female lawyer that was accused of stabbing mm -hmm. her husband mm -hmm. to death? Mommy, everybody that knows her testifies to the fact that she's calm and level-headed. How can one explain that a calm and level-headed person is being charged of manslaughter? This is getting scary and complicated. What is this world turning into? My generation didn't have it this bad. Mommy, if truth be told, your generation had it worse. People stayed in abusive, joyless marriage and completely lost their minds and destinies all because of my children, my children. This generation appears bedeviled because most women choose to stay alive rather than endure oppressive marriages. You are right, Aduni. But the Holy Book tells us that God hates divorce. Mommy, the Holy Book says God is love. And he who does not love does not know God. Mommy, go and read your Holy Book well. There is somewhere in it that says God hates oppression. 
and I'm sure he hates oppression more than he hates divorce. that you are the one who added that bit about God hates suppression. I've never seen it before. Um, but I get your point. I get your point. You are not going to live single and remain under my roof. I am quite sure that there is a young, God-fearing, loving, good-looking, hard-working, female-respecting male out there looking for his missing rib. Mommy, you forget to add tall, handsome, macho, great cook, and big spender. <laughs> 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 